Here are five of my favorite tools that I use as a software developer in 2022. First up is my text editor of choice, Visual Studio Code. This is a piece of software that allows you to write code on your computer or now just straight up through GitHub. As you get more advanced, they have a ton of hidden features, extensions, plugins that make this tool like a Swiss army knife. Now, before we move on, if I could trouble you for a like if you're liking this video, and if you're not already subscribed, it would mean the absolute world to me. So you know how I mentioned those plugins with VS Code? Well, one of my absolute favorites is actually number two on this list. GitHub Copilot is your kind of AI companion that helps you code. Imagine autocomplete on steroids, but for programming. Sticking with the plugin trend for VS Code, one of my absolute favorite plugins is something called Thunder Client. Now my business Carter is an API that allows game developers to add open conversation to in-game characters, like you can go up and talk to anyone, but it's powered by an API. Now I don't wanna be messing around in Unity every time I try out the API we provide. So I use Thunder Client to send API calls to the API without having to build an application around it. You can install it in seconds in VS Code and it looks like a native part of the VS Code IDE. You can save your requests and it's a great alternative to something like Postman. Next up is Docker. This allows you to put a container around your code and essentially package it up into a reusable thing so that any computer running Docker knows exactly how to set itself up to run your code. So you can define the operating system, the version of Python, some commands you want it to run when it first boots up. But what What's awesome about Docker is that you can also deploy your project to one or thousands of servers pretty much instantly through AWS, Google, Microsoft Azure, and a bunch of other cloud providers. Finally, my UI framework of choice is still React.js. I love it, but I have started using Vite to set everything up. It is incredibly fast. The development server and the development workflow is just incredible. So Vite and React for front-end web dev stuff. I love React. It's super simple. It's part of almost every project I work on right now. But I am starting to feel like people are getting a little bit bored of it and want something a bit more modern and new. Perhaps you could recommend some down below in the comments. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe.